What's going on guys, my name is I Miss Too Much, and today I'm going to be showing you how to move files between different servers using the export display command. And I've shown you guys kind of how to steal passwords and stuff through servers before, um, using a very, very, like, stupid, long, complicated process, but I found out a different way to do this last night, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So I have this, uh, academic changes mission that actually doesn't really work right now but it serves as a good use of an example so what we're going to do is I already end mapped it and it shows that we can actually log into it with um, shell web 1.9 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shell web into this IP address and then it's done and we are into the server now I've been playing around with this command and I couldn't get it working up until last night but if we go here we can do export display and you see like it gives this kind of cryptic command it doesn't really make any sense um so i always was trying to figure out like what do i set the display equal to like the program or whatever and i could just never get it working but i found out if you just hit equals uh, after reading something on the discussions page if you do that the command works and so what we can do with this is say there is a file explorer in the uh, user bin folder. We can do user bin explorer.exe and right there we have access to the file explorer of the server. So this makes everything a lot easier than it was before so we could say um, set this up as academic one or something just as a placeholder and instead of having to sit there and copy everything from the password folder we can actually just click and drag it and it will move it and now we have the password folder over here and in order to move files back and forth between this all you have to do to download something is have that but if you see we try to put it back it says permission denied and I'm going to show you guys how to fix that uh, really quick so we're gonna go over here um, actually we're going to have to open a new terminal. We're going to change our directory to academic1, and then we're going to decipher the password folder. But before we do that, we're going to have to go in here, and I think this will glitch it out, so we're just going to steal the root password here really quick. And then if we just go over here, decipher, password. And in a second, we'll have the password for root. And that's also a really good way if you ever need the password for a specific folder. Like, you can actually open this up. So if you only need a toner, you can just, like, remove the root and do that. Because I think it, it glitches out if you have more than two. But if you just need one, you can just erase the rest of them, and it will crack the password either way. If not, it either glitches out or it just takes the first password of the first file. Alright, I found the password for this. So what we're going to have to do in order to move files around over here is we're going to have to cd back into the slash one. We're going to pick a random folder and we're going to use a command called change mod. So we do chmod, which is a Unix... Um, chmod is a Unix command that allows you to change what users can do with certain folders so if I were to say like if this was a regular thing and you do ls next to each one like say public it'd say like drwx rwx and then like r dash dash which uh, the first one means d and then you have something called like the user the group and the other so the user permissions or I guess the admin permissions would be like rwx so if you're like, you know, you have an admin account, you can read, write, and execute. You know, G would be RWX, which means you're in the group. You'd have those permissions. And then, say, uh, for others, you'd have R dash dash, which means it would be read only for you. And in this case, um, I think it is we have a R dash X, if I'm correct, because we can read and execute things, but we can't write to that folder. So we have to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do chmod, actually sudo chmod, then we're going to do o, 
which is whatever like I guess group that we want to add it to then we O plus to add a permission or we do O minus to remove a permission so we're gonna do O and then I like to just do WRX so that it is all encompassing and it says we have an incorrect password. So it's SL oh, I forgot the path to the folder. So we're gonna do public. SL96 again. And now we should be able to go if we go back up here. Go to public. We are now able to copy files over here. And if this is really useful because uh, on one server, say for example, I took all the programs I have downloaded, I put them in here, except for the 1.9 folder because it's new. And I just put it into another server just in case I have to restart. Instead of having to go back and purchase everything, I can just pull it back from there. And this is also useful for the um, shell web exploit which we don't have a shell or not shell web uh, web 3 exploit uh, you would have to copy it into that because I was saying I had issues with those two working but if you do it like this and you have a server that is running whatever version that one has unfortunately this is running web 1.9 and we only have it up to I think 1.6 in the shop but if you needed to use that you could go in here do that and you actually get root permissions and whatever folder that you're using and this is really useful um, for that for using backups and just really whatever you need to do if you just need to move files back and forth so that is actually basically it for this tutorial if you liked it go ahead give me a thumbs up if you want to see some more go ahead subscribe to my channel I've been trying to do tutorials basically every day except for the past couple days because I've been sick and the holidays and stuff like that and if you like this video or want to see anything else made go ahead let me know in the comments below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next episode peace